Morton came within five minutes of causing a major upset. For 45 minutes, it looked as though Swindon were going to topple the first division side. And they took a deserved lead when Alan McLaughlin sidestepped two defenders and beat Saints keeper Tim Flowers. Two minutes later, Glenn Cockrell was robbed by Steve White. The Swindon striker kept his feet and it was 2-0. Southampton had been outplayed. Even when they did strike, Swindon keeper Fraser Digby was in superb form. The second half and Digby was still unbeaten. But Saints, who hadn't lost at home since last August, were stepping up the tempo. Letizia's corner fell for Barry Horn. 2-1, and it set up a pulsating finish. Now Swindon were under the cosh. Letizia's header. Again, Digby saved. Swindon were only five minutes from the quarter-finals when Saints substitute Shearer centred for Paul Rideout. The former Swindon striker didn't hide his delight. So normal time finished 2 all. Ozzy Ardelius tried to lift his side. Then Letizia's brilliant free kick gave Digby no chance. And Saints put the tie beyond doubt with another goal near the end. Rodney Wallace beating two defenders and then Digby. Swindon were out, but losing at the Dell these days is no disgrace. Final score, Southampton 4, Swindon 2. Well, Paul Rideout, who grabbed the equaliser minutes before the end of normal time, was still sporting a serious eye injury from the weekend and was only allowed to play because it was against his old team. After the match, he said Swindon could so easily have won. They play very well first half and they're always a hard side to beat and uh, we're just pleased to get through to this, this quarterfinals. Having drawn at the county ground and now beaten Swindon, I mean, what are your thoughts being a, a, an old club of yours? Um, well, we were lucky to get through to this, this second game, put it that way. Um, they play very well at their, their ground, if they put their chances away, um, we should be out. But um, they gave us a second chance and um, I'm sorry for them to be out. I mean, they, they've done very well to get this far, and, uh, but obviously Southampton is more important to me.